Here is how this measurement method works. Differential pressure flow meters have an artificial restriction integrated into the measuring tube, illustrated here by the example of an orifice plate. Two holes are located in the pipe wall, one before and one after the orifice plate. Two separate tubes connect these holes to a differential pressure sensor with its two pressure chambers separated by a diaphragm. The tiniest pressure differences in the flowing fluid can be precisely measured. If the fluid is not flowing, the pressure before and after the orifice plate is essentially identical. As soon as the fluid starts to flow, its velocity around the orifice plate increases significantly because of the restriction in the cross-section. At the same time, due to the laws of fluid mechanics, the static pressure at this point decreases. Consequently, different values are detected in the pressure chambers of the sensor, a higher pressure before and a lower pressure after the orifice plate. This pressure difference is a direct measure for the flow velocity and thus the mass and volume flow in the pipe. The higher the flow velocity and the resulting drop in pressure around the orifice plate, the greater the differential pressure measured.